Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am about to play some videos back to back. They are snippets of this morning's message preached by my pastor, Pastor Joseph Valerie. Every once in a while, you see in the background, I get a shout of his pretty wife, <laughs> Roseanne. They just make the cutest couple. And the pastor is so down to earth and so real with the word. That's why you have to, it is so important to find a church where the word is not only preached, but where God is cherished where living a holy lifestyle is of the utmost importance, where people are willing to do battle in the spirit realm, where they're willing to, to operate within the gifts and functions of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to back up and let him take the floor. And I hope you enjoy because this is what you miss when you don't go to church if you know there's a church with a good preacher god bless you as you listen these are snippets and i had to catch and stop so just understand my camera only only videos 10 uh, 10 to 12 minutes at a time and then i have to stop it or it's going to stop at a, at the most inopportune moment so Anyway, understand that these will be a series of video snippets of the same message. God bless you as you listen to Pastor Joseph Valerie. An awesome God. And then I'll tell you what. Uh, the Pat God, love with Pat's two sons. And he may try to destroy, do what he does. He may, he may try to do those things, but I'm going to tell you what. The, the, the scripture says that we're victorious. That we're a victorious people. Yes. Amen? Amen. And so um, I just want you to continue to pray for the families in Texas. Pray, pray for those families. I think funerals started for some of them yesterday. Let's just keep them in our prayer. Uh, believing that the will of God will be accomplished in their lives and in the earth. Amen? Amen. And we're just praying for their comfort. God would help them do their time of grief. Now, on my way home last Sunday, I, I just started, I listened, I heard on the radio, and I just started to weep, cry, mm. because now the, the church is not even, and Jesus said it, that we would be persecuted, that believers would be persecuted, and so here we are in that time, and, and it's happening in other countries far worse than what's happening here. But we're living in a time where it will begin to happen more and more here. And so as believers, we need to be prayed up. Amen. We need to have our ear to the spiritual law to hear what thus saith the Lord. Now some would say that, and I heard this from our so-called leaders, that, you know, what's the use of prayer? Why, why pray when things like this happen? Why should we pray? And Jesus said, well, well, John wrote this. Excuse me, Luke wrote this. Luke 18 says that men, men ought always to pray. And not faint, not give up, not throw in the towel. Amen. Right? Amen. Jesus told us to watch and to pray. So why should we pray? Because Jesus said so. Amen. That's why we should pray. Because the Word said so. And all of us in here can say, well, you know, we prayed and we... We've seen God move in our lives. We've seen God answer prayer. So we know that He answers prayer. Now's not the time to give up. Now's not the time to quit. Now's not the time to throw in the top. I know as a kid, I grew up in Detroit, on the west side of Detroit. And, um, <laughs> west side. and um, one, one thing that I, I did as a kid, Growing up, so we fought. I was telling Rose, I fought every day. Got in a fight every day. I had a best friend. His name was Jeffrey Irvine, and we we would fight. Me and him, best friends, but we would fight every day. And if someone got into a fight with him, I was jumping in. 
if someone got in a fight with me other than him, he was jumping in. We fought all the time. All the time, we would fight. And I just grew up with that, that kind of mentality. I think, I told Rose that I was angry. I was an angry kid, very angry. And I was angry because my dad wasn't in the house. My mom finds she remarried, and then once she remarried, my stepfather helped me uh, channel that anger in other areas. But I always fought. I just never sat down, never. I guess I, I had the, the attitude, you're just not going to chunk me. You're not gonna, that was my attitude. But now, what's your point, preacher? My preacher is, is that I, I believe that same type of... Uh, 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 tenacity we should have today as believers. Yes. You hear me? Yeah. Not. I, I don't consider myself. We're not victims. You're not a victim. No You're a victim. Yeah. Why? Because the greater one lives in you. Now that that Jesus lives on the inside of me, I fight now. But it's the good fight of faith.